Welcome to Next Level Greatness, the podcast. Around here, we'll be talking about all things expansion, going from good to great and from great to greatness. I'm your host, Barbie Collab. Get ready for your next level. Let's do this. Welcome to part two. This is the second part of... I've already invested so much, but I really want to take this program. If you haven't tuned into the first part, it's the previous recording. So we're going to jump right in. You've already determined that you are ready to work and that you're either always in the process of dealing with any subconscious blocks that you may have or you've already dealt with them. As I said last time, I do believe that we are always a work in progress, but sometimes we have such blocks that prevent us from moving the needle forward. So this is the episode to really tune into if you know that you are ready to do the work and you're just trying to decide if a certain program is right for you or a certain experience, it could be a program, it could be just any investment that has to do with your business or education, it could be a mastermind. And what the intention of today is to offer you different perspectives so that you can make a decision about a purchase and be happy with that decision. Okay, first things first. Number one, programs are places that you go to get information. I think that there's this misunderstanding or expectation, of uh, a wrong expectation. I'm going to say a wrong. Yes, a wrong expectation that when you take a program, you should be immediately transformed and see the results right away as a result of taking that program. I'll give you an example. So one of my signature courses is Money Magnet. It helps you get the information that you need so that you can clear your money blocks. I don't expect people to be showering with money and money falling out of the sky immediately because a program is a place where you come to learn the information. I absolutely believe that you can have a transformative experience. I absolutely believe with my program or other programs that I teach or that other teachers may teach. Sometimes the information, you get a few insights that transform you within, and then you're able to see that in your 3D reality right away. But in general, Programs offer information. You take programs so that you can learn the material, you can learn the content, and then you integrate that content. Integration is making it your own, really like integrating it, like embodying it, taking that information and letting it pass through the filter of your own mind so that it becomes yours and you need time for the application. I'll give you an example. I did a one-on-one session with someone to get some feedback on my business and it was a 90 minute call. Well, it's been over two weeks. I'm still applying some of that material and we're talking a one minute call. So if what I'm offering is a seven module experience or if you've taken a course that is four weeks, five weeks, however many modules, I think it's the wrong expectation to expect yourself to have applied every little thing and to have transformed in this completely 180 kind of way right away. This is my opinion. I believe that sometimes when you take a program or you have an experience that it is enough if you take away one or two key insights that can help you grow your business or change your life, depending on what the program is. 
So I'll give you an example. So my husband and I went to a Tony Robbins event, Business Mastery, back in 2014, 2015. I love Tony Robbins. I feel like I've outgrown him. I, I basically know him from, know his work from like front and back and sideways and every angle. But back then I was like absorbing every ounce, every cell of Tony Robbins. Anyway, I went to Business Mastery. And by the way, I met my husband at Date with Destiny, Tony Robbins. So that is forever in my heart. However, Business Mastery didn't really speak to me all that much. But my husband and I both got one key insight that made a huge difference in our lives and in our business. Tony Robbins talked about creating or having raving fans. So you don't want just a client. You want raving fans. You want people to scream your name off the rooftops, to think that and to feel and believe that what you have to offer and how you're impacting them is beautiful. And so I want raving. I'm not looking for fans, by the way. I'm looking for clients whose lives I can help transform, that I can be a key part of their transformations, whether it's for a short period of time or a long period of time. But I don't desire lukewarm clients. I do want, I'll use Tony's word, raving fans. But my point with this is that I went to this event and I really don't remember what else I learned in this four day event. To me, the fact that I took away one or two key points was absolutely enough. Another perspective to take into consideration is that depending on the instructor or the guide, being in the right collective energy can make such a huge difference. I talked about this in the last episode where sometimes you just want the information. You want to know how to create a landing page, for example, just give me the information. It's a little bit like a manual. I don't need my furniture manual to have a personality, although I suppose that could be kind of fun and original, but a manual can just be a manual without any personality. However, when it comes to my learning experience, I choose I now choose because I always haven't. And the reason that I always haven't was because I wasn't aware. I now choose to be in the room where the energy is transformative, even if I can't always attend live. That is a fact. Just because I sign up for a course that is live doesn't mean that the time is always convenient for me. But there's just something about the instructor, the teacher, the guide, and the person that she calls in that I find transformative, whether it's live or whether it is recorded. And that is absolutely something that I look for. You guys have heard me talk about human design often. I'm a 6-2 generator with a sacral authority and I'm at a point in my life as a six line where I'm almost 50 years old, where I'm really begin beginning to settle into my wisdom and I absolutely own it. And I was listening to a beautiful training by Melanie Ann Layer, specifically about the six lines. And she was saying that when six lines offer programs. They don't need to focus on this module and selling this module and that module and this information. That one of the things that we really offer and that we can put a price tag on is the wisdom that people come to the six lines who have the wisdom to be around them. It's like to be around the elders. And now I understand why I have some friends who have told me that I have this like wise mother energy, which I have always found up until now. I have always found a little bit puzzling because I don't have children and I don't think I've 
have a mom energy, but it's not like a mom energy. Now I understand that it's this, it's like the elders. And this is something that's repeated to me by many different people. And now I own it. I love it. And that is something that I would be offering you when you come into my spaces. This may or may not be something that you value. This may or may not be something that you are looking for. But when you're making a decision about taking a program, again, whether it's with me or with someone else, this is important to know. The other point that I want to make to, and offer a different perspective on is that there's always a lag time. So no, let me take that back. There's often a lag time. When you take a course or a program, and it really goes back to an earlier point that I made about integration, but I'm saying it differently, there is a lag time. And to that, I will add that Learning is a lifelong investment. So yes, you may have invested in a lot of different programs, but I have too, and I absolutely don't want to stop because it makes my life richer, number one. It makes my life richer. I love to be in the space with a wise teacher and with wise human beings. I also understand that as I progress in my business and in my life, there are different pieces to the puzzle that I need to add. So I may have heard about, for example, creating segments when you're sending out email. I heard someone talk about that three years ago. Well, I'm only now at the point in my business where I'm remembering that information. I'm remembering that this guy talked about it but now I'm seeing the utility of that. So that's the lag time. Just because I learned it three years ago and I didn't apply it three years ago doesn't mean that the time was wasted. I'm using that information now. If you want more clarity around this idea of lag time, think of exercise. It's a great example. Let's say you wake up one day, this has happened to me, And I'm like, oh my goodness, I have to lose five pounds or I have got 50 pounds to lose, whatever it is for you. Or you realize that you've fallen off the wagon and you're like, okay, well, today's the day. I'm going to make some changes. When are you going to see the results? I know that you know that the results are going to take time, but a lot of times we want the results right away. And when it comes to exercising, when it comes to changing your diet, And by diet, I simply mean the way that you eat. There's absolutely a lag time. The same thing happens when you have been eating just pretty much anything you want. You don't always see it. And then one day you wake up and you're like, whoa, what happened? All of a sudden I've like gained 10 pounds. That's also the lag time. Like sometimes there's a tipping point. And the same thing happens with business. We learn information, we take that information in, and we're doing the things we've worked on our subconscious programming, but there is that lag time. And I truly believe that whatever you believe in, the ultimate creator, whether you call it God or whatever, the universe, you're being tested. Does this person have faith? Does he or she have faith? And will she keep doing the things without seeing the results. And a lot of people, they don't have that faith. A lot of people will quit before they actually get to see the fruits of their labor. Oh, I felt that so deeply in my soul. I don't want to see you quit before you get to really see the fruits of your labor. So at the end of the day, it really is up to you. You get to decide whether a program is right for you. You get to decide whether a mastermind is right for you. Hopefully, I've provided insight to help you decide, not just with my courses, but with any courses, any educational or business experience that is out there. That said, we are starting Athena, the art of business very soon. I am linking 
it below this is going to be off the hook. I feel so dialed in. I feel so in my purpose. We have dozens of women who have said, hell yes, I am so ready to grow. I am ready to do the work with you, to expand and start my business, to feel aligned and to make some money, honey. That said, I hope you have an amazing week. I hope that you found this super helpful and I will see you next time. If you loved this episode and if you're loving my podcast, I would love for you to leave a review. They really do make a difference in spreading the word and having more people be impacted. Also, I'd love for you to join me in my Facebook community called The Magnetic Portal. You can find the link in the show notes. I'll see you next time.